Hi, this is Chris with Stupid Raisins, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to auto-sync audio in Final Cut Pro. You know, I've always wanted to be in one of those lip-sync competitions. Every night in my dreams, I see you, I feel you. Now I'm going to share with you how to automatically sync clips from multiple sources in Final Cut. And then we're going to look at how to organize those files, and then finally take a look at how to move those files into a compound clip to free you up to edit from multiple angles. Let's go check that out. All right, so now we're in Final Cut Pro. We're going to take a look at automatically syncing audio and video together. Now you can bring footage in a few different ways. I prefer to just drop it straight into the timeline. You can also click on import. And there's a few things we can check out here. We can create some optimized media, proxy media, balance color, find people. Um, but for our purposes, we are just going to go ahead and import all. All right, and then our files appear here. We have our audio. One, two, three. Then we have some video I took on the phone Setup. right here. And one, two, three. All right. So we took a little bit of footage. Now what you can do is you can drop that straight into your timeline. Before we had this automatic syncing feature, what you'd have to do is drag and drop these uh, clips right on top of each other, watching these waveforms to try to match everything up. Stupid Raisins is awesome. Go Stupid Raisins. You can, you can see how this could be a pain to try to get these matched up just right. Like you'd have to zoom in a bit and try to, um, like let's say we're gonna match up on the audio, you can drag some of these over, or you can use the uh, comma and period in order to move it back and forth. Go stupid raisins. So what you end up needing to do is zoom in even further to these clips, trying to find a way to get them all synced up. Looks like we are almost there. Go stupid raisins. But you, you, you don't wanna spend time doing that when you don't need to. So we're gonna go ahead and delete those out of the project and we're gonna highlight these. We're gonna right click and synchronize. You can also find this up here at clip, synchronize clips, or you can hit control, command, G. Okay, so here's where we select our options, our settings. So the first thing I wanna do is name this sync clip. We just want it to appear in our event. Now the main key here is the use audio for synchronization. So you've got the reference audio on your camera. You know that you're not gonna use that. You can actually choose to disable uh, that audio component on the video clip so that we're not having to deal with muting it later and it just creates that sync clip with just your main audio. Then we've got some custom settings we can take a look at. Automatic synchronization is just the standard. There's also another one that is content created and what it does is it measures when the content was created. So it'll get within the second, it'll sync up the content. You can also set it up to where all the clips synchronize to the start of the first clip. Or you can put markers on your clips in your browser. So you can mark your clips where you want this synchronization to happen. We're gonna stick with the audio. And I would recommend just keeping all the settings as you recorded them. So we'll leave all those here and we'll click OK. Got that progress bar and then here is our sync clip. So a couple tips on keeping your media organized in your library. So we now have this clip, this clip, and this clip in this sync clip. Now if we want to save confusion, we can actually click on all of these using the command key and selecting them all and we can hit delete. Now, depending on your current settings, you may or may not have seen those disappear. So right here, you have a filter view and you can check and see, okay, I wanna see all clips, I wanna hide rejected, I wanna see the favorites or unused. So if we go to all clips, you'll see all those clips just appeared back in here. They all have that red line. That just shows that you have rejected those clips. And if we go up here and go back to hide rejected, that will save some confusion in your library. Now that we're more in sync than a boy band, I want you to know that we share new videos like this all the time to help with your Final Cut Pro projects. Subscribe to our channel and hit the bell so you can get notified when we release a new video. Now our library doesn't have too much going on, 
But the moment you start adding clip after clip after clip and sync clip among other clips, you may wanna have a quick go-to spot to find all your clips that you've synced. So what I want to show you is right in here, we can right click on our event and go down to the new smart collection. And let's title that sync clips. And then we're gonna double click on that. Then we'll click on the plus icon and we're gonna go down to type. So what this is gonna do is gonna create a rule for this smart collection. So we want a piece of media that is a compound clip, multi-cam clip, a layered graphic, a project, but in this case, we want synchronized. So now, when we go in, let's go ahead and close this out. When we click on sync clips, only our sync clips will show up. Even if we take it off of hide rejected, only the sync clips are appearing here. So what you can do within the browser, you can actually double click on this sync clip and it opens up in its own uh, timeline. So we can go ahead and play this and see that all these clips are lined up. Stupid Raisins is awesome. Go Stupid Raisins. Now let's say one of these clips just looked just slightly off. You can actually select these and using the comma and period key, you can move them forward and back. In this case, everything is good. We don't need to mess with it. So we'll put that back to how it was. But that capability is there for you and I recommend doing that right at the start. Because once you take this clip, this sync clip, in fact, let's press this back button to go back to our timeline and let's drag this sync clip in here. So what we'll see is as we start to cut this clip up, we dive in here and we change one of these to, you know, lose some of that clip. So what you'll begin to see is if you try to click into these clips under the sync and you start making changes to one and then you go back, you'll find that only this one will change instead of all of them changing. Now a compound clip works a little differently. It also combines clips together and creates a separate timeline. But within that timeline, you can make changes and that same compound clip, no matter how many times it's copied throughout your project, it'll change across the entire project. So I really enjoy working in compound clips. They just give me a lot of freedom and open a lot of opportunities within the edit. So what I wanna do uh, is I'm gonna show you a cool trick. Final Cut has now done the work for us to synchronize these clips. I'm gonna go ahead and copy this. And that's just Command C. And then I'm gonna get rid of this here and we are going to paste our clips that are now synchronized. And we'll be able to, like let's say we wanna just cut everything down. Now what we can do is we can highlight these clips, right click, and we can create a new compound clip. Let's call this a sync clip. Now you notice up here, that sync clip doesn't appear, but if we go to all and we'll hide rejected, you'll see a compound clip has been created. So let's say you're, you're, you wanna make for an interesting edit and you've got all these clips synchronized. You may be wondering like, how do I show the clip below this? So one cool trick you can try out is press the B key and that'll open up this blade tool. And then you can come in here and cut the spots where you want your edits to be. Now there's also a shortcut for this, which is Command B, highlight this, Command B, and that will cut here. Or you can highlight everything and in each of these spots, Command B, it cuts all the way through all the clips. Want well, to be careful right where your playhead is lined up is where that cut is going to take place. So be careful about where that's at. One thing to keep in mind is you can change this skimmer. You can turn the skimmer on and off, which changes where the red marker is at. And that's where your changes are going to happen, whether you're doing cuts or splits or trims or whatever. So now what we can do is let's say we like the clip below rather than the clip above. And we can just hit the V key, which V is just uh, the disable key. So you can also right click and disable, and that disables this clip. So what we get then, three. It's working, it's working, it's working. And you see you've got that multi-cam edit that's beginning to work for us. So with that, we've taken a look at synchronized clips. We've taken a look at how to use synchronized clips within compound clips. And with that, we've reached the end. Thanks for tagging along. Well, it's time to say bye, bye, bye. 
But now that you've learned how to auto sync audio in Final Cut Pro, I've made another video about how to do slow motion in Final Cut Pro. Click here to check it out.